Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 1st of July. I'm James Spann. As the week rolls along, rain chances going up. Temperatures will stay below average. Let's get in there and take a look. We'll start with some of the sky cam shots around the network this afternoon as we look out the window. Those were captured about 2.30. That's view coming from Trussville. The sky there partially sunny. The sky pretty much the same in Tuscaloosa. That's from the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. And we'll go way down south. That's our sky cam on the beautiful Alabama Gulf Coast at Gulf Shores. And we've talked about this. You've got a beach trip coming up for the 4th of July. Looks kind of wet there. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of this week. There'll be some breaks in the rain, but no doubt you'll see a lot of raindrops over the latter half of this week. Boy, look at that. That is a very anomalous pattern for this time of the year. Nasty heat ridge in the west, a big downstream trough over the east, and a huge thermal contrast because of that. Now, around here, we're uh, under the influence of the trough, so it's, uh, I don't want to say cool, but boy, it's, it's not very hot for summer. No 90s. I mean, not even close to 90. Uh, Birmingham at 84, 75 down at Auburn, where they had a shower that passed through, uh, producing the cooler values down there. And we'll stay uh, like that all week long. And around the nation, the east is nice and cool. Uh, temperatures only in the 60s and 70s around the Great Lakes up and in the, in the uh, northeast. But out west, again, it's blazing. From the deserts of Arizona up into Idaho and Oregon underneath the upper high. Again, uh, uh, Las Vegas and Phoenix are like a blast furnace again today. Heat advisories out west. But look at the flash flood watches up for the east. From Georgia all the way up to New England. Even a few uh, tornado warnings today. Some severe weather up around uh, uh, Boston. Uh, There's no formal risk up there. There's a slight risk for parts of uh, Kentucky. Mainly the eastern half of Kentucky this afternoon. And tomorrow, no formal risk, just a few pockets of the 5% probabilities. Here's the rain for the next five days. Numbers are pretty impressive here for summer, and summer rain is good, especially in July. If we get some good July rain, that really helps to mitigate the August heat. As part of the sun's energy has to evaporate the soil moisture instead of heating the ground which heats the air. And this is hinting that a pretty good chunk of Alabama could see two-inch rains this week in some spot, spots maybe more. And, of course, the Gulf Coast looks pretty wet. This is suggesting maybe some five-inch amounts around Destin, Navarre, and Pensacola. Uh, tropics, nice and quiet. One thing you won't have to worry about. If you've got a beach trip, any uh, tropical storm, hurricane-type stuff, no problem. We'll check the modeling. This is the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock local time tomorrow afternoon. And again, you can see the big heat bubble in the west and the nice trough over the Mississippi River and down below that. Uh, Tomorrow should be a lot like today for us. Uh, The sky partly sunny. There might be a shower in spots, but probably not many. This is the high-res NAM, valid at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And you can see the chance of spotty showers and storms. No doubt there could be some out there, but nothing especially widespread. Uh, Models are in the mid to upper 80s tomorrow. And then Wednesday, notice how the coverage increases, especially over the eastern side of the state. The high-res NAM suggesting the most widespread rain on Wednesday could be along and east of I-65. But, hey, uh, West Alabama should see a pretty decent chance of rain at times as well. And, again, because of the increase in clouds and showers, the heat levels are coming down. The NAM showing a high of only 82. And here's Thursday. This is the 4th of July. Uh, the heat bubble is kind of shrinking back in the western states, uh, thank goodness, not as expansive. And the upper trough is doing some retrogression here. It's kind of backing up and moving to the west, but still uh, with the dynamic support from the trough, deep tropical moisture uh, for the 4th of July, that looks like a day with occasional showers and storms. Highs somewhere between 80 and 85. Somebody might stay in the 70s all day if the rain begins early enough. And really the same deal on Friday. Deep moisture, showers and thunderstorms are likely. Highs 80 to 83 maybe. So uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday looking pretty wet. But as we start the weekend on Saturday, the shower is beginning to thin out a little bit. Still, there'll be a chance of scattered showers and storms. And then Sunday, wow. Look at this now. We've got a 597 upper high. That's pretty nasty heat. 
uh, that's centered on the coast of the Carolinas. Uh, it'll be awfully hot over there, even with an ocean breeze. And down below that, the warmer air aloft should mean fewer showers and storms and increasing heat levels. We should be up around 90 on Sunday. And a week from today, still, we, we're not going to take out the chance of scattered showers and storms, but pretty good chance we'll see maybe 90, 91 degrees with the upper ridge nosing in from the east, but still maybe a passing shower or storm. We'll check the end of the forecast. This is the 17th of July. Uh, 591 heat really to the east and west. We've got kind of a weakness in here, and that looks pretty typical. Uh, muggy, a chance of scattered showers and storms, and I would say temperatures around average if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by tomorrow morning at 7. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.